What's up guys, this is Footballer's Advice and today I'm bringing you five dribbling drills you can use in order to improve your dribbling. We're talking about close control, a lot of touches, and also having some fun while we're doing it. Let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, so just a couple things to recap before we get into the drills. You want to make sure that first, you're taking a lot of touches when you're performing these drills. The more touches you get, the better your dribbling is going to improve. You also want to make sure that you keep the ball as close to your foot as possible. This allows for close control when you're going through a lot of defenders and you're trying to perform different skill moves. The last thing to remember is that you want to be able to change direction quickly. You want to have a low center of gravity, that way you can cut and beat your defender when you're taking them on. Alright, let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, for the first drill, we're going to go ahead and just weave through the cones in and out. What we want to make sure is that we're taking a lot of touches with our left and right foot when we're going through this drill. A lot of touches of just touching the ball around the cone, in and out. It's a great way just to kind of warm up the feet and uh, make sure that you also have close control while we're, while we're doing it. So let's go ahead and just check it out. We're just gonna take a lot of touches around the cone here, keep it close, and just go through like that. For our second drill, we're gonna work on taking two touches and still weaving through the cones back and forth. We still want to remain under control and also have the ball close to our foot. Here's kind of how the sequence goes. You're going to go ahead and take two touches. So you're going to have one through the cone, one back. One through the cone, one back. Again guys, just as a reminder, we're only going to do this with our right foot through the drill and then as you come back around, you're going to perform it with your left. So during the whole line through the drill, through the cones, it's only one foot that you're using. And like I said, we're gonna take one touch with the outside of our foot, one with the inside. One with the outside, one with the inside. All right guys, for the third drill, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a three touch sequence. This is with the outside, inside, outside of your foot. Again, you're gonna use both feet while you're performing this drill. So both while you're going forward, and then when you turn around, both while you go back. Again, here's the sequence that we're gonna look for. We're gonna go one with the outside through the cones. As we come out, we're gonna take a touch with our inside. And then to go back through the cones, it's back with a touch with the outside of our foot. So let's go ahead and go at a little bit higher rate of speed and see what it looks like. Again, three touches. Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Alright guys, so for the fourth drill, we're going to use both our right and our left foot when we go through the drill back and forth. What we're focusing on though is bringing the ball from our right to our left foot as we go in and out through the cones as we weave. If you guys are familiar with the move La Croqueta, this is how you train for the move in order to perform it in a real game. Again, we're gonna focus on bringing the ball from our outside, from the outside of the right area to our left. And you're gonna take a touch with your left. Then you're gonna go ahead and perform the move again through to the right, just like this. All right guys, our last and final drill, drill number five. We're going to work on again using both the right and left foot as we go in and out through the cones. And we're going to work on raking the ball across our, our body from left to right or right to left as we go through and we weave around the cones. 
what it's gonna look like is we're gonna start in this position. We're gonna rake the ball over to our right side. As you rake it over, you take a touch with your right in order to prep it forward. And then you take a touch again with your right foot, prepping it with your left. So that way it comes forward again, and then you rake it. And you just continue this sequence. Again, what you guys wanna work on is just establishing a rhythm within yourself. As you establish your rhythm, things will go smoother. But let's go ahead and check it out at a little higher rate of speed. Like I said, we're gonna roll over, touch, roll over, touch, roll over, touch, roll over, touch, roll over, touch. Just like that. Right, guys so that's it for today those are the five drills that I would recommend to you in order to improve your dribbling don't know if you can tell though but I got a great workout in I'm sweating uh, in terms of how many reps you want to do completely up to you uh, I have no set stone sort of reps that I do I just keep going until I'm tired that's the big thing you guys just want to keep going keep getting a lot of touches so your fitness improves and that way you also get better close ball control that way you can improve your dribbling all right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I appreciate it if you share the video. Thank you, guys.